Hello guys and welcome to a new series of Railway Empire with me Murphy. Now I've had a little play on uh, the campaigns on this um, and actually I quite enjoyed it. So we're going to jump straight into a campaign. Uh, this is going to be the Great Plains, uh, first chapter. So basically it'll just help you and help me to explain how to control everything. Um, so first chapter takes into the uh, you to construct the sites of the Union Pacific Rail Railway which started in 1863. Tracks were built westward to establish the first transcontinental line. While you are conquering the vastness of the Great Plains and the heights of the Rocky Mountains with your tracks you will learn about the basics of railway empire. Thomas, Dar no, Thomas Clark Durant, the visionary in charge of the, of the Union Pacific will assist you. Cool. Right, so we're going to be starting uh, over here. We're uh, we can't change anything on this scenario, so we're going to be down there. Not sure. I don't think these are different cities that we can connect Sometimes to. Sometimes I think about giving everything up and dedicating my life to poetry. How about you? <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. So can't change anything there. We can change our name. We'll leave it as the Pacific, uh, the Union Pacific Railway. Why I always want to say the Pacific Union I Railway, I don't know. The contenders and I am the best choice. <laughs> right, let's continue. In 1863, on the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished. To tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam. Never before had anything like this been ventured. But the time was ripe. Okay. Greetings. My name is Thomas Clark Durand. Exactly, the head of Union Pacific. We will go down on history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. First, you should familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Move the camera in all directions. Now, test the camera's zoom function. You can also rotate the camera. Give it a try. All right, so... As you can see, let me just zoom out a bit. So this is the, t the higher station view. Um, and we can then scroll, ugh, scroll in. But as only when we get to a certain point. Let's see. Is it there? No. Nope. There we go. Only to a certain point that you can actually start changing the actual angle. So it's quite interesting to uh, have a little play with this. Right. So. Norfolk. Now, there's no way to pause this game while you're playing it, so we need to just uh, really just crack straight Very on with good. it. good. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, switch to track laying mode. Okay, so when you play your tracks, you've got to make sure you look out for the incline, because obviously any incline, your trains will struggle. It'll use up more sand and more oil as well, so it's things to, to bear in mind. So we've got a zero um, layout uh, incline there, which is great. We've also got a cost. Now we've got the tracks cost and we've got the earthworks cost. So that will be, uh, see there, how we've got like a little dimple where it's taken out a bit of, of the land. That is what that earthworks is. So we can build that. Now create your first train so that you can set up a rail line between your stations. So initially your train. train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. All right, so let's set new train line from Omaha to Norfolk. 
We're going to leave this on automatic because then it'll take whatever it needs to take from the two uh, stations to fulfill the requirements. And we've got the Philadelphia as our first train of choice. So we don't have, uh, so we've got here, we've got our water, we've got our oil and we've got our sand. Um, so they're quite important to keep an eye on when you are uh, watching, uh, playing the game. Oops. There we go. Now, we are going to need to put in a... Um, I'm not going to wait for him to come up and ask, say this. I'm going to basically build another extension out. Come on. There we go. So basically, just building our tracks... So we can actually have a double skin because I kind of like the idea of having uh, multiple trains uh, operational uh, because our money will come in a lot quicker. Uh, we also need to put in a supply tower. So it's, dictate, it's showing us here in the center of the actual um, map uh, to say, right, that's where we need to actually place our supply um, tower. Uh, we're also going to need to have signals. Now, we sh might have to wait for him to tell us. Um, otherwise, we could it won't, won't do it the way he wants it done. There we go. Now construct a rule of train mark for the cornfield. Uh, ah, that's right. Okay, he wants uh, a rural train station over here. So that we can start taking corn. And we press shift and turn the wheel. On our um, mouse, we kind of want this to just zoom out a bit. We kind of want it in that sort of direction, and then we can get this line connected as well. Again, no incline to worry about, which is good, and we're away. So now we need to have a look at the uh, towns and what they demand. So we've got grain demand here. And they've also got grain demand over there. So we need to get our train to uh, set up line. So we want to go from, oop, hang on, hang on, hang on. We want new train, set up line. And so we want to go from there to here. Now, we can tell them to come back here and then back over to Norfolk so that what will actually happen is he'll take pick up goods from here, bring it back here, then add any additional corn that he needs to take over to Norfolk. So it seems a bit long winded in a sense, but it means that we're getting grain to both um, towns. Let's just add a train to that. All right, now we're gonna need to uh, put some stop lines on here. So let's put in some signals. So I like the way these signals are at work. So you've got, let me just uh, pop that in and rotate it. And then if we press, hang on, going through. Oops. Now let's try that again. And our signals right constructor mode put signals right okay so he's going to tell me where he wants the signals now all right so watching how he does it is a case of they go it has a stop on one side to allow trains to go one way and then the other so he's waiting we've got a train waiting is he telling me no he's not Right, let's just drop this down. Oops. Right, we've got change direction by left mouse button or shift to change the uh, to a stop sign. So there, no trains will go that way. And then we can go down to the other end and place one here and shift. Oops. Oh dear. Done that wrong, haven't I? I can't 
can't pause it. Let me just. Uh... Pop one down and shift. Alright, so those trains are running now, although I'm not entirely sure if I've done it correctly. <laughs> Let's try that again. So on this one, we don't want, we want it to be a stop. We want you to rotate. Now a stop, so no trains come that direction. And then on this line, we want it like so. And we've already got a little issue going on. That should resolve itself uh, because this train will go back to the farm. We should then allow this train to go through. He says, I hope. Put a signal here, which will then dictate that once that train's gone through there, it will actually. Um, oh, yeah, it doesn't like what I've done here, does it? It thinks I should have done something different. So let me. Alright, so that's how we wanted, so we don't want any trains going that route. And we now need to jump to the far end and remove that signal because that's on the wrong side. And then place a signal over here. So, so no trains go that way, and no trains go that way on that one. Perfect. Right. Now we need to make sure we have a maintenance depot on there. So let's just select our station, and we can check, select the construction menu. And we can add a maintenance depot there. Perfect. Now, I think I've got these sorted out now. No, that's just, that's not been stopping trains going that way. And that's stopping trains going that way, so <laughs> we haven't really got um, that right. Let's just pop them down again. There we go. Right, so that's stopping trains going that route. And that one's stopping trains going that way. Right, finally got it done. Okay. Right, so he's disappearing off. We've got a number of tasks that he wants us to do. Uh, so he wants us to connect the Omaha to the North Plate and, and Omaha to Cheyenne. We need one to also deliver a load of goods. So we need to crack on. So we've got two trains running there. And we need to head over to here. So let's 
drop in our station um, there. We'll put in a medium size, rotate it with uh, that. I mean, the beauty of this is we can plonk it smack bang in the center of town and it won't change. Um, you know, we won't get um, any penalties as it were for it. So let's see, we've got those on that line. So let's drop it onto this line. So we'll check our gradients. We're looking good. Let's go with that. And I'm going to go straight away and create a second track. Because I want a couple of trains to run between the two. And also put my signals in to make sure that they are working correctly this time. And let's put stop that way. Ooh, no. Stop that way. And okay, I'm on all the way over here. We want our stop on that one. Nope, that one. So no trains. So this this is the inbound track, and that's the outbound track. Perfect. So we can now add a new train line. We get newspapers pop up. You can disable them if you really want, but uh, I think some, some of them are quite interesting to have a quick read of. Um, so let's just add our new train line. So here, Norfolk 2. Plate, and we'll add added loco. We'll also put in a, um, is it supply tower? Smack bang in the middle. Now, that's perfect. If you put another line down the side here, it will extend out that, and you can actually put it on the inside, so where the actual um, water tower is, and it will still extend it. So that's uh, uh, something to remember, uh, that you don't need to be worried too much about it. Um, so we've got two trains there. We can actually duplicate this train. So let's, because uh, we want two trains running on this long track. Let's come off there. So there we've got our train, we can just hit clone. And we've got another train on its route. So that's good. We should also put in a um, maintenance depot at this end because uh, the trains that are going to be coming through here, um, they'll stop at these two stations and we've got a maintenance depot there to cover those trains. So that's what I'm thinking on that. Now we also need to uh, connect uh, to Cheyenne. So let's uh, get that sorted and pop in a new station here. Now we want to be going around to Brock Springs eventually. So I'm gonna direct this in that sort of uh, angle. Uh, but we're also gonna be needing to get transport from Denver to Cheyenne because we need to get um, cattle delivered here. Ah, okay. Let's, uh, let's just connect that one through first. So from the inside time, I'm going to go to the outside of this one. And let's have a look at that. We've got a bit of earthworks. Okay, but gradients, 1%. That's acceptable, so we'll do that. Now, also you can see here that we are actually going through a quarry. Now, we accept that, and they move the quarry, which is quite funny. So we will put in an extra line here to say there. Nope. Don't know why that didn't like that. Oh, hang on. Right, you can find city current needs now. Select Cheyenne and what their demand for goods are. That's why it won't let me do anything. Right, so we can see as weekly demand for goods. So we've got beer, meat, wood, corn, and yeah, wheat. So we can now have, right, we want to connect a timber business and a wheat farm and establish a new route to them. So we've got 
a timber farm or wheat farm over here. Now I'm inclined to actually upgrade this uh, oops, station for two reasons. Just keeps things simple because we've got a spare line here to take us down to Denver and we can add a line in for these two. Now as you can see the farms are quite uh, a distance away so if we were putting small tracks in we couldn't actually connect the two. A large station is just out of reach but if we have a large station uh, or even I think a warehouse actually another warehouse and it's a large station we can then connect the two. It costs us a lot more but it just means we have one train depot and it means that uh, we only then have um, one train that we'd need to put on there. So why aren't you going to let me? There we go. What's going on here? Right, why are you not letting me build? Oh, hang on. Let's cancel that. Hang on. No, that's why. Bin that. That's why. Let's just pull that out. Cancel. Take it from here. Let's do this track first. Do that on there. And then we can take another outside track to our cooking chop. Now we have got a hundred and seventeen thousand for this little section and rail and it's predominantly because of this. So what we can just do is pick up the actual track and move it. We've got incline of one percent. So we can either have an incline of two to three to two uh, and pay 117,000 or because it's going to be going uphill empty then it won't matter too much um, with the train which so I'm going to go for the cheaper option set up a new line between here and here uh, it's going to be automatic uh, so let's just add our loco I can get on its route. We'll pop a supply tower in the middle. And we'll pop a supply tower in the middle of this one. Roughly about here. Drop on there. We need to do our signals on this section. So that way. Try again. And then, nope. There we go. The bottom of the cone needs to be the direction they want no traffic to go. Oops. There we go. So, no traffic on this side. And you're going to head that way. And yeah, so inbound that way and outbound that way. Perfect. Let's add a new line, Cheyenne, to Norfolk. Oops. No, let's try again. Norfolk to Cheyenne. Right, okay, so if that's not let me do that, there's got to be a reason for it. What is that train doing there? 
Norfolk to Norfolk Plate 1. How did you end up on the wrong side of the track? How did you end up there? Um, I'm not trying to go there. I'm trying to go to Cheyenne. That's my problem. Right, that's why it was telling me off. I was trying to create a train line that already exists. So, let's try that again. So, Norfolk Plain. To Cheyenne. Perfect, there you go. Add a loco. And we can then duplicate that. Norfolk Plate to Cheyenne. Perfect. So, that'll get two trains running down that route quite uh, quickly. Uh, we also need to get Denver now connected because that's one of our other tasks. So we need to get meat delivered to Denver and then meat from Chey to Cheyenne, etc. We need to get 120,000 people on our tracks um, and then we need to get this uh, Rock Springs to Cheyenne connected and, and a load of people going between the two. So let's drop in our station over here. Um, there we go. Uh, let's put our tracks to go from there to there. Double check that gradient. Uh, it's not too bad. Rather expensive. So let's just pull that out a bit. 88,000. One. Zero from one. And that will do. And then we want to get this cattle here. So let's get a, star, a station that can capture both, maybe. Yeah, because that, that'll just increase our profit. And then we'll drop that straight in to here. Make sure that's all fine. Yes, it is. No uh, gradient issues. So we can then just have our new line from Kelly. To Denver. Oops. New line. Set up new line. Ellie. There we go. To Denver. Accept. And let's put a train on there. Ooh, I haven't got any money. Come on, let's speed up a bit. You sat waiting. Okay, they should both land and give me some money enough to buy a loco, which they have. Perfect, so he can get en route. Now, the reason why that train was stopping here was because it was waiting for the other train to go through that signal. So, to speed up that, what we can actually do is oops, put on additional signals. Now these are only, how much do they cost? They're, they're free. So we can have just a standard signal for that way. The supply route acts as a signal anyway. Perfect. And then we can do the same coming in this direction. Just rotate it around. Correct way. Oops. There we go. So no matter what happens now, the train will not wait for that uh, other train to get to the other side because we've got all those signals in place. So that'll just speed up the efficiency of uh, of this line. So now we need to get a new line between Cheyenne and Denver. And let's add a, line, a train to it. Now because we've got uh, this train here that's uh, not got any access to um, any repairs, oops, we'll put in a... Um, um, a 
that maintenance shed and we'll also put a couple of oops we've not got enough money for it no we haven't and we'll put a couple of supply points uh, en route so that now is uh, connected and working we've got a bonus here so let's go to Bismarck um, which I think I'm going to leave because that's not one of the actual objectives um, we just need to get meat now and we also need to get these sorted so we've got to, get to build up our population Cheyenne that's building up quite nicely now we've got additional things connected uh, so we need to start considering our route to where is it it's uh, rock mountain or rock springs this is going to be a rather expensive route so let's put our train station in to start with okay and as I'm not planning to do any other routes for the time being we'll just connect that up to the there we go so that's going to cost us just short of a million pounds so what we can do then is just move that out, move it out, oops, Pop. move it there, move it, oops, come on, move it over there a bit, and 1%, 1%, that's actually quite a reasonable um, cost. So let's do, you do that. Know that. Many people call a vast stretch of land between the Mississippi and California the Great American Desert. <laughs> Those fools. Once my railroad has opened everything up, the value of these lands will go through the roof. Okay, so I'm putting another line in, but this time I'm going to put it to express because I need to get passengers backwards and forwards uh, to achieve another uh, target. So the first train is going to be an express. And we can also look at having this line duplicated because that wasn't that expensive. Following the same lines shouldn't cost too much. Oops, come on. There we go, 127,000. Not a problem at all. So, let's put our supply tower in the middle. Let's get our signal sorted out. So, we want... Yep, like that. And then on the outside layer track, we want no trains to go the other direction. There we go. Right, so we can now put in additional signals along here, and that will just speed up the efficiency of our trains because we can then get multiple on here without worrying too much. And then if we no, come on. We actually put a train on that line. No, I haven't. Right, there we go. Well, something was strange. So let's put on our more signals. So that's that way. We want this to go. Oops. Like so. Putting them right next to each other helps you just to remember which way they should be going. Okay. Perfect. So we can now have, um, I think we can put on a new line. Denver to Cheyenne because we've got an express one we can leave uh, that um, as it is and add a loco perfect so that'll start looking after the um, oops the goods 
and if we select that train so that's our express so let's clone that train all right so we've now got two trains doing that run so our task now is to deliver the cattle to Denver uh, which we're not doing at the moment for some strange reason we've got the line Where's our train? It's got a load of cattle. Have I not put a... Right, have I not put a train on that line? Have a look at the train list. And oh, let's just put a new train. Progress is enormous. The Far East oh. is no longer so far away anymore, and the people are slowly realizing that trade helps create prospering cities. We still have a long way to go, but the Transcontinental Railroad is coming. Right, I thought I didn't actually uh, get the... In spite over there of all the second. challenges, the Union Pacific Railroad managed to cross the endless expanses of the Great Plains and conquer the merciless slopes <clears throat> of the Rocky Mountains. The Central Pacific Railroad approached from the west, but the winter of 1868 brought all work to a standstill. The two lines lay just a few hundred miles across from each other, in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. The dream of the first transcontinental railroad seemed to be within touching distance, but was buried by house-high masses of snow and blown away by icy snowstorms, a dream that had begun almost four decades before. Okay. We completed that. Um, right, okay, so I think on to the next chapter. So I think we'll leave it there for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and next time we'll have a look at the next campaign. That's Murphy out.